Hey guys and welcome, I am back. And today we're going to be doing the thing that you guys had voted for. Oh yes. So I put this vote up a while back and I do mean a while back. Pretty much now the May the 7th and now I'm finally getting round to it. So what was the, exactly the vote for? Well there were three things. One was a big thing for PW, draw 100 and gigantic monster. And of course the thing what I said was which project do you want me to do first? Which one would you like me to pick first exactly? And the winner was of 70.4% was do a big thing for Prince whatever. That's what PW was standing for. So let us do it. I now need to figure out what exactly I'm going to do, but I want to do something big, something cool, something three-dimensional. All right, so I'm going to go to the drawing board and we're going to be seeing what I can come up with, Prince whatever. I'm looking forward to this and I hope that he likes what I make. It's going to be very interesting, definitely. There's a few aspects that I have never done before. I've got a rough idea, but I think I need to do a few sketches, plan a few things for this because I want this to be really good. So, I guess we should get started. Alright, so it's time to get started. So, let us start drawing some ideas because that's what I need first before I even start this kind of idea of this 3D cardboard art that I'm wanting to do. So I decided to come up with a few ideas and the one that I decided to go with was the one that's orange. So I decided, let's go a bit more in detail with it to help me kind of plan this out. So I decided that for this, I want to make it kind of obviously a few quite good amount of layers. So we're going to have the, the background, we're going to have the three rows of crowd, we have the stage, and obviously Prince whatever himself. The other thing I want to do obviously at the end is I want to get a frame for it and frame it at the last bit to make it really stand out and kind of give that good depth of feel. I think... It's going to look really good, but let's see how we get on, I guess, shall we? So, let us get started with drawing Prince Whatever first. I decided to go for Prince Whatever first for a few reasons. One, if I get him done, then I can then see how I'm going to get everything sized correct, because I want it so that you've got, you see the background, the office of sky, but also see how big I need to make him, because remember, I need to then, once I've drawing him, and then need to print them out, then cut them out later on once we get to that part. But yes, I will let you guys enjoy this part as I draw Prince whatever, and I decided him for to rock out his guitar in a kind of, like that kind of thing where you see that guitarist kind of stand there and rock his guitar and kind of, almost kind of close his eyes but obviously like whooshes back his hair and stuff like that. Also, the actual person, Prince whatever, in real life, yes he has long hair as well, just like his character. It is perfect, and I also had to go back a few reference photos to get the guitar kind of perfect. So I want to have it. Obviously, I did draw the actual character that's also on his guitar because the actually the guitar does look like this. I'm hoping they got all the details correct. I'm not sure with the strap, but I think that that is correct. If not, then oops. But I kind of like how it looks, and hopefully he does as well. Right, now we're on to the crowd. So I decided to go with four different poses. One that has a pose of uh, kind of like, yeah, I got my arm in the air, stuff like that. Then I wanted to go with something a bit else as well. Um, I wanted to make sure that when you look to the crowd, you can see that it's almost kind of different people. They're all cheering, go, yeah, rock on, all that kind of thing. Obviously, though, if you think about it, ponies don't have fingers, so you can't. There's always so much you can do, but I want to give them still all that kind of, you know, 
as much as I could possibly that made sense. So I decided to make one that's have it's holding both his hoofs. He's shouting out, going "Woo, rock on!" and stuff. Then I decided to go with something. I had to think. I almost kind of looks kind of the same as the last one, but this one's kind of more of a reaching out pure high. I also did a mix between uh, coat and stallion because you know it makes sense. Like everyone can like music. It doesn't matter who you are or where you are in the world. Music is such a cool thing to listen to. And if you're not big into music, that's fine too. That's absolutely fine. But anyway, I wanted to also have that kind of thing of different sizes, mains, you know. I kind of just came up with a few main designs and stuff out of things that I could think of in my head. But I think these worked out pretty well. You're not going to really see much of the detail in the faces. Obviously, it looks a bit like they all kind of look a bit slendery and stuff like that. But hey, the main point was to get these characters background characters, really background characters, all you're going to see is kind of grey and stuff like that, but the main point was have these so then I can put them together and have that kind of depth of feel, because that's what I want to make, because the thing is, I'm not having to do this as a traditional piece of art I usually would do, it's, I put it all into layers, I'm having to do all the layers separate, <laughs> and then put it together when I get to that stage, but We'll get to that in due time. There's still quite a bit of time before I get to that. I need to do all the artwork bit first, then we can do all the cutting and crafting and stuff. So, this is a pretty simple, easy process. Wasn't too difficult to do. It took the, the quite reasonable of time. So, yes, guess we should move on to the next little part. The other thing that I forgot to mention was so I can test this out so I can get the characters because the background characters have to be different sizes. So ones are going to be much bigger because close up, the second row is going to be small and that. So I decided to do a little test so it, I can get, get a feel of how it's going to kind of look. Now it might not look exactly like this but you kind of get a rough idea of what it might look like. But we'll find out once I get to that little blast part. And we'll see a tons of it. But this is how roughly it will look. Now, as for the background, quite simple idea of that. You're just going to be, you're not going to see the overall background too much because Prince is going to be pretty big. It's going to cover most, he's going to cover most of the overall piece. So I decided we'll go for a nice night sky. I think it's the perfect thing to go with this. I decided to also do it as it's kind of night based because I feel that a lot of music things can be seem to happen more during later on the day and they kind of really do happen. Also it's always that kind of cool when all the lights are on, it, it, it's kind of dark, you can't see anyone else but you see the actual person that you're here to see. So it's quite simple, a little bit of uh, smoke down, a little bit kind of a dust thing with the light down the bottom, a little bit dark at the top and a few little stars to make the things. But overall, not a too difficult part to do, but like I said, I have to make each part separate because you'll find out later on how that's gonna go. The last part that I need to draw, literally the last part digitally, is the stage. Such a simple, easy part to do, not too difficult. Just needs to look like, well, we need a stage. Like, where's it gonna stand? He needs to stand on something, so not too difficult, I also added some little bits of light shading as well, so when he does stand you kind of get an overall kind of shadow bit. And yeah, not too difficult part to draw, took literally maybe 10 or 15 minutes to do it, but we need a stage, simple as that. I think now it's time to move on to the next part and get these things printed. So, overall, let's get to it. That's it guys, we're at the part and it's time to cut all these things that we printed. So, let's get at it, shall we?
Okay guys, we're now at the part. Now that we've done all the bits that have been cut out, we now need to start cutting the cardboard itself so we can get the foundation. Now, this part wasn't too difficult to do. This was quite simple, easy, actually a little bit easier. Oh god, so much easier to do this. Pretty, pretty quick to do this part, not too bad. The only thing obviously I had to make sure was everything was measured correctly, because otherwise it's not going to fit in the frame. So, kind of needed and very necessary to this. This part was going well, the background was going pretty well, I had it glued down, then when I checked it later on, I realised the mistake. I put too much glue and it seeped through, had to end up doing this again. Whoops. So that was the only part that I actually whoopsed it, I also had to replace this little part as well, because the other one, too small, so I had a bit of colour to make it easier later on. Trust me, made my job way much easier. So with that said, um, we are now at the last part, no joke, we're at the last part of gluing everything together. So pretty much all I needed to do was now glue each part of the crowd onto the bits and then start gluing it to the actual part. The actual thing was finally coming together and it was looking really cool with each layer that I started to glue on. Now I learned with this, spread the glue out so it doesn't seep through and leaves those, oh my god, those splodges. I learned! Hey, you, you gotta learn, you gotta dabble a little bit, you learn by doing, that's how I learn, and yep, I learned. I do this like that background again, oh my god, that took a little bit longer, but hey, lesson learned. When you put the glue, spread it out, or use less of it, that's what I've learned. Each part of this was getting easier. It was getting easier and easier. Obviously, I had to spread it out, took longer to... This looks quite to you, but I had to wait for each bit to dry. But it was looking really good with each layer and layer that was getting added and added on. Now we're at the last parts of this. I have now got the stage back glued on and now we get to the final part we have to glue. Prince whatever himself. Now I had to be very, very careful. So I used a different glue that wouldn't seep through the paper because I wanted to make sure there was only plenty of this for it to stick to the cardboard. So, and I had to make sure this was careful because this is the most important part. This is the part you're going to see the most. It has to look good. It has to look very good. So the last thing I did before I glued it was I lined it up before gluing because you really need to make sure I do that. Now the other thing I did was I also got a few layers of cardboard behind the main bit so it would actually be supported when you placed it. It would even out and be a nice even bit. So this is the last, last bit. I had to be so careful. You, I was so careful. I, because I didn't want this mug up because I had one shot at this. I had one shot, <laughs> otherwise I'd do this whole thing again. Luckily, I got it on spot on, first go. Oh my god, thank god. And I just carefully pushed it in and then just let it, let it dry. But yes, that is literally it glued together. There's only one more thing I have to do and pretty much frame it and you guys get to see the final outcome. And here it is. At last, I have finally finished it. Took a little while to do this, I'll admit a few attempts didn't exactly succeed, especially like things like the background and stuff like that I kind of showed you, 
and a few colour tests didn't go quite right, but once I got the settings correct on the printer, it all came together pretty well, and I actually really like the outcome. Um, as you can see, I also got a frame as well. Uh, I had to do a few adjustments to the frame as well to the back to make sure that it, you got that nice, deep, three-dimensional kind of effect. You can see the crowd all the way to the back or to the front, the stages thing, and obviously prints whatever is at the front. And uh, I hope he really likes this, because <laughs> uh, my idea is I'm hoping that he's going to be at UK Polygon this year. Not 100% sure, I think he said he's going to be going at it. I hope if he is, that I'll be able to give it to him in person. If not, I'm sure I can figure some other way that I can give this to him. But yeah, um, this was this was really fun. This was definitely a learning experience, but I've never really done something like this. Especially like this. I haven't done anything like this before. So yeah, I think this is... Um, I actually look forward to doing more things different before, so this was definitely a lot of fun. I really enjoy this. I'm glad it's done. <laughs> definitely glad it's done. Um, this was a really cool outcome. I really like how this turned out. So if you guys enjoyed this, then uh, let me know down in the comments below and leave a like if you think that I definitely done well on this, because I'm going to be honest, never done this before. Um, there's definitely a few things with the knife and stuff like that, but I think in the future I'll make sure to get a few things to get to make things a little bit easier. For example, the crowd that took me definitely a few, that took me a little bit because I wanted to be very careful with it, and things like character. I made a few little mistakes, but I did fix them later on. I did fix them. But yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that he likes it. I'm sure that pretty much. Hopefully, if he's at the con, I'll be able to give it to him in person. Don't know, not 100 sure, but. I might also ask him as well. I might give him a little message and say, hey, are you actually still going to be going to this con? I don't know. We'll find out. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. This has been a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. And I look forward to doing some interesting things in the future. There's going to be a few videos that I hope you guys will enjoy as well. Definitely a bit something a bit more crafty and arty at the same time, you know, kind of thing. But I really enjoyed this. This was really, really fun little project. And yeah. So until next time, guys. Yeah. So until next time, guys. I'm going to fly. This is my little guy, Foolish. We'll see you guys next time. And yeah, so, till then, see you later.